It's Tuesday, January 25th. Coming up live on The View. The votes are in on hot topics, from who scored and who was ignored at this morning's Oscar nominations, to Oprah's bombshell announcement yesterday. Yes, it is true. And why Bristol wants Levi to give up all parental rights to their son, Trey, including his last name. Plus, Carrie Fisher's telling you what she has in common with Monica Lewinsky, Kirstie Alley, and Joy Behar, and how she was so horrified at the weight she gained, she didn't want to leave the house. Then, from a miraculous way to never lose a thing in your purse again, to how to give yourself an instant boob lift. The co-hosts are unveiling fashion inventions you'll wonder how you ever lived without. All that, hot topics and more, coming up live on The View. to the view. You know, we're always talking about the wedding of Prince William and Kate, and uh, it's just around the corner, so I thought you guys would want to see some of the official, because, you know, when you go to the souvenir shops, they have all kinds of stuff, but this is from the official site for Kate and William. The most beautiful. (laughs) These are really gorgeous. That's nice. nice? And they're hand-painted, apparently. But that's not what they're going to use. That's the souvenir. This is from the official site of their wedding thing. Yeah, so, but I mean, this is not their china. This is what, this is the souvenir. Well, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I just know that this, you know, it's got all the way to go on it. It says to celebrate the marriage of Prince William yeah. of Wales and yeah. Catherine Middleton. Yeah, so, so this is, is what is going it's Yes, it's a souvenir. Yeah. This is okay. what is being sold pretty, at, on pretty. the official site. Oh, that's pretty. You know, it's and as I said, you can go, and you're going to London, so you can see all the different Looking to cut back on caffeine. I mean, look at the size of this thing. I love the, this is a pill jar. You know, yeah. I, I or a bud jar, and depending on what you're Put into. Your in. <laughs> but <laughs> this is what gets you, know, you through. But I just thought it was so beautiful, and and beautiful. I'm not gonna lie to you. The other reason I love it is because it has a W on it. Uh, what what is? Is? Uh, it you and me, we can share. That's right. Not we oh, can. Okay. W. Yes. Why can't we share? Uh, we can absolutely you get six. share. I get six. We'll have twelve people for hey, dinner. You got Perfect. it. You, you go. got it. Right. Yes. So I just thought you'd like to see that. And you know, it's it's crazy because a lot of British tabloids are claiming that Prince William popped the question now because he wanted to marry before he lost his hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was actually there was actually yeah. a New York Times article. There was, so uh, so uh, are you saying like baldness is the male equivalent to a biological clock ticking? That is what really? this, this article this weekend. That's I believe. It was in the Times on Sunday or Saturday, Mm -hmm. and it was talking about how men's biological clock is really about their hair, that they feel, because there are more women in the workplace now, post-industry, that they feel as though they're more concerned about their (laughs) appearance, that their hair, once they start losing it, they think, and I've talked to a few of my friends, including my husband, who felt as though their insecurities started to develop once they started seeing their hair fall out. Well, I know a lot of 70-year-old men with wives who are... 30 12. and 40 and 20 <laughs> and 12. <laughs> and they're still having babies. That's they're not worried about their biologic, but, biological clock. But I did a little serious homework. Can I share it with you? Yes. Sure. Okay. So Prince Charles, Prince Charles, Prince William is 28. Right. Very young for your biological clock for a man. Now, Kate is six months older. She is 29. Right. On the other hand, Charles, when he got married, his wedding to Princess Diana was in 1981. He was 33. So he was ticking away there, I think. He was to play. Diana, yeah, yeah, Diana was 19. Yeah. Now, moving further along, Charles, Mm -hmm. at his wedding, had a head of hair. Can we see that again? Charles was full head of hair. But Diana's father... Let's see, uh, there. Oh, oh, so he's got something to be worried about. But see, he's sort of doing the so call from the mother's side. Prince back. William losing his hair is coming from his mother's side. Well, it yes, does. it always it's does. It does. It always, it always does. Yes. I remember, yeah. I remember, yeah. I remember yeah. To your point about these old guys with, with young wives yeah. or whatever, yeah. Yeah. The, their clock is called death. The death <laughs> clock. <laughs> That's a different clock. Well, don't you think that? I mean, I know. I know it's going to. <laughs> 
talk. I think <laughs> it's like, that is the grim whisper. But when, you, when yeah. you talk about the men losing their hair, so, it's sometimes sexy. it's a little. I know you. It's what about sex, when the woman loses their hair? No, no, no. When the men lose their hair, it's sometimes it be sexy. But some men lose their hair, and you see lumps and no. bumps and but here's rolls. The, no. You never no. size a little Here's creepy. the problem. And you know, when Tim played for the Giants, he started losing his hair, and he was kind of combing it to the side. He wasn't ready to make oh, the commitment. Come over. Over. Amani Toomer, our good friend, right. was a good enough man and friend to Tim to tell him, "Look, you have to fire it before it quits on you. You're gonna take the razor and just buzz it down because you gotta commit to it." Look at Ed Harris. We had him on last Woof. week. He's adorable. I mean, Harris was here last week. So handsome. He's worth it. Take Bob a handsome billet. Can't but miss a day, Whoopi. Can't miss a day. But now you... Oh, well, I was reading something that, um, that, um, what's his name? William. William, yeah. William yeah. is marrying a woman, <laughs> whatever his name Our is. Today. I'll never forget. What's his name? <laughs> um, <laughs> William is marrying Kate Middleton, who right. looks exactly like his nanny. Look at the pictures. Get the Look at that. Yeah, no, well, that's not that's her, is it? it? No, no, that's, no, that's, no, that's, that's, a, that's a, that's a that's cousin. A, that's his that's cousin. cousin. No, that is, that's not his nanny. It was, it was Tiggy Leg Bork. Yeah, who was his, who was his, um... No, 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 we're talking about her. Kate Middleton's, uh... Oh, Kate Middleton. Now, but that's Prince Charles's nanny right here. And this is Camilla. On the left is Prince Charles's nanny. This is Camilla. The one on the is the Count of Monte Cristo. So this is how unusual because in the wow. case certainly, you know, of, of William and Charles, yeah. you know, they spent more time probably with their nanny than they did with their mother, the Queen. Yeah. But you know, we hear all the time you know, about right about yeah. women who want the, trying to find somebody who looks like Daddy. Yeah. Or, you know, Daddy well, okay. I don't think they try. I think it just happens. Uh, uh, I think it just happens. Uh, women who the women who are trying to find yeah. a man like Daddy or sure. man who are, you know love their mothers and try to find Creepy. somebody who looks well, like. Well, you know, Daddy. it's That's interesting, Barbara, because in England they marry women who look like their nanny. In this country, they marry no, their no, nanny. No, no. <laughs> what are them? That's why they do it. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of people. Yeah. And oftentimes, they make movies Touché. about them. And speaking of movies, <laughs> the Oscar nominations oh, yeah, were announced this bad. morning. And here are some of the people and pictures that made the list. Uh, supporting actor Christian Bale, John Hawkes for Winter Bone, Jeremy Renner for The Town, Mark Ruffalo for The Kids Are All Right, Jeffrey Rush for The King's Speech, Best Supporting That's Actress... Uh, Amy, Amy Adams. Adams. Right. Helena Amy. Bonham Carter for The King's Speech. Right. Melissa Leo for The Fighter. Haley Steinfeld for True Grit. That's a tie with Jackie Weaver for Animal Kingdom. Go ahead. Oh. And the actor is Javier Bardem for mm -hmm. uh, Beautiful. Adorable. Jeff Bridges for True Grit. Jesse Eisenberg okay. for The Social Network. Colin mm -hmm. Firth, King's Speech. And James Franco for 127 no, Hours. No surprises in this show. Right. An actress, we no. can't forget. Good, the really. kids, uh, Net Betting for The Kids Are All Right. Nicole Kidman, Rabbit Hole. Jennifer Lawrence, Winter's Bone, Natalie Portman, Black Swan, Michelle Williams, Blue Valentine. It is a best little bit of a surprise. You want to do Best Picture? Barbara, Best Picture. Best oh, okay, Tenable I'll do Best, best Picture. picture. Yeah. Well, now, I have to tell you new. that this year, for the first time, there are 10 pictures that are right. Best Picture. And you know, I usually do an Oscar <coughs> special. Right. And last year, I decided not to do it. Right. And now, now it would pictures. have to be an Oscar not so special. Yeah. With 10 yes. pictures. <laughs> right. So which okay, pictures? Best Picture, Black Swan, Inception, okay. The King's Speech, The Social Network. Through grit, the fighter, the kids are all right. 127 hours, Toy Story 3. Yay! Yeah, Yay! congratulations, Whoopi! And Winter's Bone. Very and the nice. ones that people think are probably going to get it uh, are The King's Speech, which a lot of people are just seeing for the first time. Yeah, yeah. That's remarkable. And, yeah. and the social, the social, the social network. network, which may have Very peaked good. a little too soon. I but Paul you know. but the, I was a the little King's surprised. The King's Speech is a British import, so they don't always favor imports. Wow. But this one, is, is this one, this the great good. thing about the, the, at least the things that are in the category is that these are really, truly, these are the ten best films, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. that are out there. Right. So keep our fingers crossed. I know it's going to be on ABC, but I don't remember when. But when they tell me, I'll let you know. But, but I did think you? too many films. Well, we'll find what out. I mean, we'll find out. Nominated for ten films. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think it's okay. I think it, yeah. I think it's going to be all say. right. And it's you know, it's not going to change how long the damn show is because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a five thousand hour show. No it matter is. what you do, you cut to two movies or two. It's going to be five thousand hours. To tell you when you uh, hosted it towards the end, did they say you hurry up, Whoopi, hurry up, Whoopi, hurry up? Yes, the until I said, okay, I pretty much cut it down to one sentence, and you're still four hours over. <laughs> so they said, yeah, go on. And then I just went crazy. But it is on February 27th, which is a Sunday, right here on ABC. Now, Oprah.
Oprah Winfrey had a huge bombshell announcement yesterday. She discovered she had a half-sister, Patricia, who her mom gave up for adoption almost 50 years ago. Now, I guess the real question is, would you be angry with your parent if you discovered, you know, 50 years later that they had given up your sibling? Yes. Or would you I just, would, would, I would you? Yeah, I would. I like to know the truth. I don't mm. like those type of secrets. But you don't know why. I mean, a lot of parents, I think their instinct is to protect at first, either mm -hmm. the situation. And so I think you have to think about why. I think if you're asking as an adult woman why this happened, I think the anger might be more replaced by, I don't know, a compassion for the parents who may have been in a tough situation. Her protecting herself or, the, or Oprah? No, I mean, the mother at the time may have been no, protecting no, I mean, a family she didn't situation. She tell her all you these years. Know. Her daughter is a famous she, I think celebrity she gave her up for on adoption, who, yeah. who reveals everything, whose whole stock and trade is telling sure. the truth about her life, and you don't tell her? I don't get it. Well, don't the, well I mean, that's I... what I'm saying. I agree with you. I think the why would have to be really important, because yeah. otherwise I think I would be really upset. This is something that's been denied to them and to me for right. uh, uh, 20 years or so, sure. that would be really hard to take. Well, but, uh, one one of the thing, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's probably, you're going to say probably what I was thinking. Go ahead. Well, you and I think so much alike. I know. Yeah. One of the things, we really do, as a matter of fact. One, one of the things that Oprah stressed uh, about the sister was that she could have sold her story, mm -hmm. she, she did, could yeah. have capitalized on She never yeah. said it. And that's not, you know, that's the way it should be. Yeah. But that's not the way it always well, she is. She tried so. to get in touch with Oprah for yes, quite a while. That's a different thing. But never yeah. through the media. But never through the media. Which was kind of elegant. No, no I can imagine nice. that, that there'd be people, you know, over the years who would say, uh, I have it. You know, I'm your cousin. Sure. I'm, well, I'm not sure. I know. had a guy come up to me after a show and say, I'm your father. After one of these shows? After, no, not after one oh. of these shows. I was, I was, I think it was on Broadway, and I was like, what? Because, like, I know my dad. Right. And, like, I look exact. My father looked like Teddy Roosevelt, you know, a black Teddy Roosevelt, big teeth, mustache. Hello. I'm the child. I don't have the mustache. But Just anymore. Like anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but... And he he went on and on with this. He went to the National Enquirer with yeah. it, said, I'm your father. And I oh. finally said to my mother, I, I know the answer to this, but I have to yes. ask because the guy's a bonehead. Did you, <laughs> you know, and she was like, what is this? <laughs> I said, well, this man is saying he's my father. Yeah. And she said, and? I said, I guess he's not. She okay. said, no, he's not. <laughs> Yeah. But he went on and How'd on for years. But now we have the DNA. The cops got him. Oh. Oh, yes. The cops got him. Now yeah. we have DNA, and Oprah right. did. Oprah did. Yeah. Oprah, well, we're happy. Yeah. We're happy yeah. for Oprah. Thank goodness. Yeah. Good we on need her. to have those do-it-yourself DNA kits for this. <laughs> yes. Well, you, you know, too. you can use that <laughs> yeah, thing to see if you're wild. pregnant. Maybe there's a way for them to do the same thing for the DNA. But you know what? We're going to discuss this amongst ourselves, but then we're going and we're coming right back with even more hot topics. <laughs> You know, we're reading that Bristol Palin would like Levi Johnston to give up all his parental rights to their son, Trip, and says if he agrees, he doesn't have to pay any child support. Also, she says she wants to change Trip's last name to Palin. Mm. What do you think? She's living uh, in Arizona, by the way, now. She is in not, Arizona, right. And he's, I but assume, in I just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Does he no, no. want to give up his parental rights? We don't know well, that. I, mean, in I, some... would assume, I would assume he does not. Yeah, well, we no, I'd assume that in some ways, by his actions, he technically already has, aside from yeah, signing off on a paper. Yeah, but you just don't take away somebody's right to say, this is my son. And I think two months ago, we saw them on the cover of a magazine saying that they were going to be together. But all of a sudden, now he's so horrible that you want to say, yeah. you can't even say this is your son? I think she was giving him a chance then. I think truly, yeah, if you talk you know, to her, was... He's a young kid. He's still, I, and I'm not, because you, you know how I feel about Mr. I don't think being Mr. A parent is uh, a right. Johnson. You know what? But if you sometimes not, kids oh, are trying to, to find themselves and to say that you're so horrible, you cannot have a right to this child. I just think I it's mean, something about it. He's not Charles Manson, Elizabeth. He's young. Yeah. What did he do? I'm not that saying so that he is. He's just a mature kid. Um, what I he understand done? that. I just don't think that she, I don't think asking him to forfeit that if he has not 
come forward and acted indeed as a dad is but necessarily what if he a bad thing. What if he, what what if he, what he, what how many chances are you, you going to give this guy? You don't. That's what I, I say. I don't know. 77 you don't. times 7. I don't, I don't know. know. You don't do it for Can him. I, you do it for the child. Yeah. I understand ah, that, ah. but is there no relationship there? <laughs> Can I speak for the other side? <laughs> it is just possible that this young man who did not want this baby, who did not want a child, she got pregnant, didn't want the child. Right. He was there a little bit in the beginning, but that's because Sarah Palin was, you know, uh, was the vice presidential now. A nominee. <laughs> it may no, be exactly. that he doesn't have a lot of money okay. now. Okay. That he may say, you know what? For the sake of this child, I really don't have that much interest in it, and I, I won't have to pay child support. I will but give it up. We don't. We don't know. There are women who get pregnant. Who get pregnant? Who go? I don't know if I want this child. You know, never but, know what's going to change. I'm but, going. What did he do? That's so bad. It's exactly. What, it's so what bad. did he not do? He's that's done so nothing. bad. What did he so, not but, do? Uh, but a lot. All right. But I'm saying you're saying that there's well, no chance of redemption this for this no, man. No, I think that there court. is. I do yeah. think. I look, I think that there's a way point. Parental rights. He's, she's not taking yeah, it away. She's asking yeah, him she's, if it's truly she's what. She's asking him to give it up. If it's truly yeah. what he what does not want. What you don't do when you split up with a husband that you have a child with is to badmouth the husband. It is a bad idea to do that. You have to stay neutral. Well, if you're taking his name away. She's not taking his name She wants to change his name to Palin. She's asking him to forfeit it. There must be a reason why, right? There must, she, she's not just asking for her name back, but to slap it back on her child. There must be a I reason why. She's she, claiming that he just doesn't want to sign up so on the This is so wonderful that Bristol that. has a wonderful, supportive yeah. family to help her, to be there for her. I think, you know, this this uh, Johnston, you know, his mother got arrested for, sure. uh, was it Oxycontin? I don't remember. He's got a lot of stuff going on. I think that maybe, hopefully... He will realize, you know what? I can be a part of this this boy's life, well, but to may. say I want to change his name and I want to—if he is you to not indeed father, acting as a father, then both, why to give him that both right? Both sides so will be presented at, at a, at a yeah. court or at a hearing. You know, doesn't yeah, just, you have to go through certain things. It doesn't just happen. Court, court, you, court, you know, you know, I. I I don't have a thought about it. I just know that sometimes people do forfeit their rights to be a parent. Sometimes you do have to do that, sometimes. and sometimes it's necessary. And I'm sure the story's going to go on and on, and we'll find out more. But did you know that the former Minnesota governor, Jesse Ventura, <laughs> is suing... <laughs> is suing the department... <laughs> Homeland Security. Of Homeland Security. He's suing the Department of Home, Homeland Security, <laughs> alleging that uh, body scans and pat-downs, quote, exposed him to <laughs> humiliation <laughs> and degradation through unwanted touching, yes. gripping, rubbing of an intimate area. <laughs> coming coming from this guy. Can I just show you this? Look at this. Be, so lucky. This, yeah. this is the man who does not want to be in a touched <laughs> right here and that's it, his it, job as a wrestler that's different agreed, but you know what you only get a pat down if you deny the scan okay you if you deny happens, them the right to scan i want to know what security. happens when you sue homeland security well it will come it will come up but the issue is unreasonable search i mean tell that to these poor people in moscow you know who just had this explosion i don't think there's an unreasonable there's no such thing as unreasonable search and they're usually very 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 me. professional and yeah. uh, you know we'll be right back with even <laughs> more hot topics <laughs> Yesterday's show sparked a reunion for you last night. What I happened? I, I have a problem, and it's called The Bachelor. I try time and time again to not watch this, but we had Brad Womack on the show yesterday, and he turned out to be a you know, decent guy. So I ended up watching the show last night with uh, my friends on Twitter. And but also, not Tim. No, Tim <laughs> sat on the sofa next to me tweeting that he wants his Monday night back and the living room. But the show is really interesting, actually. Why? <laughs> and not just because a lot of people are watching. He seems to be a good guy who's gone through some changes. But he now they're doing these crazy stunts, like like suspending from a skyscraper to prove their love to one another, which what? is wrong. She had a fear, this one, That's Michelle, reasonable. the hairdresser. What? Not reasonable <laughs> at all. If you were Cirque du Soleil, maybe. One thing that was really... And they're kissing. Oh, and they're kissing, uh, Elizabeth. There was a 
disturbing thing. There's a, there's a girl in there by the name of Emily, I think, and she is a mom of a young child. And her story is that she was engaged to a man who was racing cars. He took a plane. He took a plane and ended up crashing, and no one survived the plane crash. Well, the date that she ends up going on next week with him and a bunch of the other women is to a racetrack. What? And I thought, oh How my horrible. gosh, it is. I mean, so for her to prove her love for him, she's got to go to a racetrack for her. They have her, her on a racetrack. It seems a little died? extreme to me, but she wants to relive the grief. No, maybe. it's not her choice. You know, I think it was a surprise to everyone. But the show's t got a whole new level, and how I'm addicted years, again. Don, how many years have you been watching The Bachelor? Longer than I've been married, which <laughs> may be a problem. You I still believe in fairy <laughs> tales, and that's good, girl. I mean, I, I'm not a big. Um, Wait, wait. I is this coming from you? No. You actually had the nerve to say this well, with she, a straight face? She, she, doesn't believe it. she doesn't just believe in it. She, she wants lived it. The she lives it. Well, you know what? Speaking of living, hip-hop mogul and best-selling author Russell Simmons reveals his secrets to success in his new book, Super Rich, A Guide to Having It All. And he happens to be in our audience right now. Yeah. So please welcome Russell. talk about, you know, really rich, I, you, you're rich, this person's rich, but you really feel like it's time to redefine what rich really means. What do you mean by I that? I have to tell you that I, yes. I wrote this book in two months because I was so excited after having the success and all the response from the last right. book. So I wrote this book, and then the first chapter, Redefining Rich, I didn't want people to throw the book out the window, right. so I had to be very careful about right. it. But the idea of super rich is needing nothing. Right. Meaning, right. Meaning the state nothing. Of, it's the most attractive state you can be in. Yeah. Right. And so anyone who needs nothing is a great giver. Mm -hmm. They become the, 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 the beacon of everything bright. You don't mean sure. the essentials. You mean, uh, you know, no, I mean, well, excess. Well, everything. Because you don't it's mean bed and food. You're talking about nothing. excess. Right now, no one needs anything. And operating from that place of abundance. How do you get there? Well, one of the well things that, that's that he, the book. The book is right. about... Well, can, it's, can, can, we've, we've all... We all I don't mm -hmm. want to speak to everybody, but we've all read it. But what it, it is, it is almost the Buddhist uh, philosophy. And you suggest meditation, yes? Yes. And um, uh, you yoga, bit. yoga. But you know, you talked about compassion. I don't want to compare you to the Dalai Lama, but the Dalai Lama said that the key to happiness is warm heartedness. Mm -hmm. And you've said the key to happiness is compassion. And you should smile a lot. And every time I see you, you're smiling. You do. You do it all the so. time. Well, that's very sweet. And I, I you should, everyone should read this and get a little of what you've got. It's nice. I'm sorry. Everyone should read it and get a little of what you've got going on. Well, I hope so. The idea is to really empower people, and I think the book goes a long way to that end. And. I've gotten tremendous response, right. obviously. Got five so. stars in the Washington Post, yeah, right? Now, good. let me ask you, what you're saying to people, because people always get nervous when rich people say, you know, here are some keys to work, but you're talking about richness of soul yeah. when it's, you're talking. It's not just the having the material, the material things. You're talking about the internal riches, too. Those people who become great servants, who are fearless, right. they're rich, and those good givers are great getters. I mean, it's a natural uh, right. uh, cycle of giving, you know, and people who wake up in the morning and, what am I going to give today? Yeah, you today? don't mind being don't... rich, do you, though, Russell? The, the, it the doesn't toy... bother you that well, you're Well, I get up there. earlier than most. I make my meditation. I work until late. And you give? And I get in bed late. Do you give a lot away? I mean, I have cable, yeah. you know, and I know yeah. that most people have cable. Yeah, the rich, neighbors have cable. being materially rich, being a billionaire isn't... You, I run not... five charities. I have it. I think that giving is what okay. makes me happy. He's saying he has a But he likes Well, listen. We love having you here. Here's what we want you to know. The members of our studio audience are going home with a copy of Russell's book. And when we come back, we're coming back with Carrie Fisher. Listen up. Yes, yes. Okay. What does Carrie Fisher have in common with Valerie Bertinelli and Joy Behar? We are about to find out. Please welcome back oh, Carrie yes. Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. 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 Oh,
Come on, Miss Voluptuous. Just a little push it. Before we get to um, what we're getting to, right? Uh, we, we talked about the Oscar nominations. Any thoughts? <coughs> Well, um, I, I am retaining fluids for a lot of the actors, the actresses. <laughs> you are? Well, you know, there's very thin women, but who's Isn't retaining? Yeah. I'm retaining some of yours. <laughs> I've got Kira said. Isn't that nice? I wish you would retain for me. Yeah. Well, you, well, you didn't ask. Yeah. <laughs> or you didn't okay. ask nicely. I think there's so many nominations for films this year. What was That's the big... Why I thought. Yeah, how did, how did you... How how, what's the win? That's well, One of ten? Right. That's like a beauty contest yeah. or something. Not even. It's a pageant. Not even. Yeah. It's a pageant. There should be, yeah, go with go that go. amount of people, there should be first, second, and third. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. in Miss America. Runner okay, up. So now let's get to you, because what you have in common with Joy Beha and Valerie Bertinelli yeah, is wondering. that you right all here. lost uh, weight on Jenny Craig, right. and, and uh, they, as you, are spokesperson for Jenny Craig, which emphasizes eating uh, their uh, food and exercising. Okay, so you started the diet at the beginning of December. What were you? What are you? Oh, you mean I actually have no. to say a number? No, you it's don't. the highest number you've ever heard in your life. You don't have to say the number. Oh. I can just say now it's lower. Yeah. It was higher than when I was pregnant. It was... Here's how high it was. It was so high that when I went into the closet, I might as well have been at someone else's house. <laughs> so you're happy wow. with how what you've you lost? lost? I've lost 15 pounds. Congratulations. 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 Okay. Well, and on me, on me, that's a planet, because I'm five, one and a half. Yeah, but no, I'm not, not even a half anymore. You're hard on yourself. What about the boobs? The What's... boobs are another alphabet is needed to get me a bra <laughs> size. <laughs> if I could have a breast reduction... Whoopi. Yes. We could go together. We could. Uh, no, it, that would be a fantasy of mine. But, I mean, but you know, you're, boys, you're talking to the wrong person. I, I'm, yeah, don't no, me. Yeah. I'm an advocate for you big boobs. Like that? Yes. yes you do. Oh yeah. She tips I love big boobs. I was going to say, they're, they're, I can see why they're called fun bags, <laughs> but for other people. They're yeah. not fun for... They're knee warmers. Well, 15 pounds, we are... Oh, wait, I just want to ask you, one, ask you right. one question. But when you are on any kind of a diet, you do lose weight, and a lot of people lose weight on Jenny Craig. But when they're off that, when you're not getting their food, and you go back to normal life... Aren't you whatever to get that whatever? is. Well, with you, uh, who knows? Right. No, <laughs> I think that this it? isn't a diet, though, and it's not a mis you know, it's not an accident that the word "die" is in the word "diet." <laughs> That's true. Um, mm -hmm. Because you have to. I mean, if certain past a certain age for women who uh, are, you know, postmenopausal, and um, you know, it's called women of a certain age. of a certain yeah. age. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's hard to lose it. It's very. It's yeah. hard to lose it and keep it off. You have to get a, like a whole lifestyle going so right. that you know. It, you, it's not. You have to eat smaller portions. This is what Jenny Craig has done. I don't have to think about it. You're not supposed to be on so Jenny I Craig can continue, forever. You know, You're obsessing about you myself it. in other but ways. But you know what? Yeah. We do congratulate you on your 15 pounds. But you haven't always had a weight problem. I remember in Star Wars, your body was oh, yeah, sick and out oh, of this God. world. Look at you. Oh, yeah. Star Wars. I was a geek pinup. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't, but it started to happen a little. I don't know if it was fast or slow. Well, how do you think you started Gradually getting Gradually the and weight? then suddenly uh, that I, you know, couldn't believe it. I was at an age where I was comfortable in my own skin, mm -hmm. but there was so much of it now. Oh, but I wasn't oh. when I was younger. You I wasn't. Comfortable I in your was skin. not comfortable, and I didn't know that I was thin or. But we all have that issue. But when you look at that picture, does it inspire you or depress you? Well, it depresses me, but I'm hoping to be able to get back into the metal bikini. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not saying I will. I just want the option. Right. Yeah, right. I what think the, you all. What do you think the final straw was for you when you say, "Okay, I got to a point"? What was a, the point where you decided, the "All right, I'm going to do my, something about it"? Yeah. No, were my clothes didn't fit. Well, that was bad. Was it? Were you and I, on the here's the other thing that was awful. I would go out, which I didn't like doing right. either, right. and run into someone. They'd say, "You look good," and I would argue with them about my appearance because yes. mm -hmm. I knew I didn't look good. Right. And that's how I spent my time. So, but you were on the road. Tell them the about road. that. Jenny Craig. But, yeah, but they and so they can go on the road with you. That's what I said to them. It's sort of like a complicated. Uh, wait, it's a simple program for complicated people. Yeah. yeah. There, see, I talk in bumper stickers. <laughs> but I, on the road, it's hard to exercise. It's hard to maintain any kind of a schedule. And you want to reward yourself. Right. And food's the best way to do it if you've given up 
smoking, drugs, drugs, alcohol, alcohol, and shopping. What about men? That's another segment. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of men, can I ask you, because there have been a lot of uh, conversation about it and you're, you're such a funny person, outspoken yourself, what do you think of Ricky Gervais at the Golden Globes? You know what I thought, and it, well, it applies to this, I thought that um, now that he's thin, he seems smug. You can't be smug true. and fat, as you... Mm -hmm. um, it, smug is a thin person's energetic. So before it used to be him saying, look, I'm this fat guy with a pudgy little face and we're all fools. And you yeah. look awful, but I look awful too. And your yeah. film's trash and yeah, I did a bad yeah. one also. But now it's just him saying... I'm, I'm look how I'm cool handsome. I look right. and look how bad the tourist was. Yeah. Interesting take or, on that. See, I didn't see it, so I have no idea. I but it's just. I loved Ricky because now yes, I'm going to get killed. So but you know, a lot of people liked it. Did you think he was mean? If you break down what he said and looked at it on paper, mm -hmm. you know, it's 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 rough, but it's yeah. no rougher than usual. It's just he looked so delighted with himself. <laughs> and <laughs> that, I just, that, and I always loved him. But yes. Does it interest you interesting. that some conservative thinkers liked it because he was attacking the Hollywood elite? And they should be able to take yeah. it, blah, yeah. blah, yeah. blah. So he should be able to take it. Then when I say he seemed right. self-satisfied. I think he, I think he can take it. I think he, he, can can I think it, he would. Right? Yeah, I yeah. do. I, like I don't, too. Yeah. Well, here, I have one thing about because you were on the road and you said you were, you know, you were eating a lot when you were on the road doing your one-woman show and your book wishful drinking and which was fabulous so is there anything else you got coming up well no i now i call this wishful shrinking <laughs> <laughs> but yes i'm finishing another book which oh. is called shockaholic and um, that's about you do yeah and uh we've got great titles surrender yeah. the pink Hello. Yeah. Well, we if you know, it. if you we know, we love you, whatever is. size you are. Absolutely. Well, thank we're, you. We're, we're glad, we're glad you're getting to be the size, and you're going to put on that medal, but bikini, and come back to us. To right? here, yeah. To here. Mean, well, you uh, all have to wear it too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not so anxious to have it back, but we there thank Carrie go. Fish anyway. We love you, darling, and we will be right back with more stuff. Of suffering to look fashionable, so today is Fashion Day, giving back to us, which is inventions that make life easier, and you'll wonder how you ever lived without them. Here to show them off is style expert Amy E. Goodman. Welcome to the show. All right, so we want to get started because there are some really neat things we're going to look at, and this first thing is it called the overbra? It's the overbra. You can put it to any one of your favorite bras okay. at all. It Hello. gives you instant lift, as you can see oh, here with Amy. The that. strap underneath gives you all this incredible support. Then the side straps squish you together, oh. and from the back. It has a racer back style that smooths out any kind of back boobs you may have going on to really give you a nice smooth silhouette. And it's not uncomfortable. Oh, it's like a microfiber. Super That's soft great. microfiber. Wow. So, and you know, it's 25 bucks. So, all of these great fashion inventions today are affordable. Better than a lift. What if you wear it without the bra? <laughs> <laughs> it's like hanging over the lid. Exactly. <laughs> Next, if you're so running around for a great night out on the town or you don't want to carry a big bag or you're running to the gym but you don't want to carry a big bag, this is called the rack trap. You put in your ID, your money, oh. your visa card, and you tuck it into your bra. Oh, I bet you good. didn't even know that I was wearing one. Oh, here you go. Good. Put a lipstick in here too, I think. Right. Absolutely. But it will, it'll make a little dent. It's like the hands-free wallet for anybody who's ever put cash in their boobs. Admit yeah. it, we've all done it. This keeps it nice and all together and uh, waterproof as well. That's Oh, it is waterproof. Waterproof. Yeah. So if you've got to help your sweaty, that would get the money yeah. right. It's really important, right? So, for all of us who love to wear heels, they're so fashionable and fabulous, but your these feet great. hurt, right, Thank at the you. end of the day. These are shoes that roll up into your purse. These are called city slips. They fold up into this tiny little compartment. Oh. Then you wear the ballet flats. But better yet, the bag that it comes in opens up to a little fabulous. tote in which you put your heels, this right? Is so really cool. This is, you know what this is a great gift for? Bridesmaids in a wedding, people who have to go out. This is 
a fantastic <laughs> thing. You oh, could have used this when you went to the White well, House. I wore, no, I did use it when I went to the White House because right? you oh. have to schlep a long way. Yes. Right. And so I took this, these so shoes. I can't walk. Right. right. If you're a commuter yeah. on your yeah. way. These is this are, the same idea? And these are footsie rolls. So they roll up, as you can see right here into my clutch. Oh. They actually fit. You know, they roll up and oh, you yeah. put them inside. Okay. They come with a little dust bag. Again, you put your heels inside of here as you carry them around town. And they're comfortable, right? And for people who like to wear boots to the office but don't want to wear boots all day long at the office, then you can switch into fashionable flats. Why not? I love it. Those are good. All right. Well, this, I have to say, I love this idea right here. Right? Because normally we wear tights to keep us warm and those ugly white tube socks over that to keep us warm. This is the solution because this is a sock built in to the tight. Amen. Yes. Fabric, so it keeps your foot nice and dry. It's the best because when it you have nylon toe in your boot, it's the worst. Right. Or if you wear that. fishnets and yeah. those uh, hurt your toes. it doesn't roll down. No, no, no it doesn't That's roll down good. exactly. Yeah. It keeps good. you nice and warm and, and fashionable because they come in all these great different styles. Bravo. Wow. I love this. That's good. I love it. Very good. And okay. this, the must-have shirt. So this, this spring season is going to be all about the shirt, and this is called the skinny shirt. Don't you hate it when you wear a white shirt and it bunches up underneath your sweater? It makes you uncomfortable and it wrinkles. This is the skinny shirt. It fits like a camisole, sleek to your silhouette, and yes, it, yet it has a collar. So it gives you this incredibly oh, yeah. sleek finish. This is not a dress shirt, but so you it goes have, under like, that's you know, right. it's, easy. It's the skinny shirt. Oh. It comes in sleeveless varieties and sleeved, both black oh. and white, and some okay. fun fashion Great. patterns as well. It's I like a it modern day, dicky. yeah, like a modern day dicky. It's not exactly. a dicky. But, well, no, but no bulk. No bulk. It's like a vest or the sleeves are nice and easy underneath. It's a little bit more fashionable than dickies of cats. This is one of my favorite wears. Right. 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 So if you hate, we hate this switching our purse really from yeah. one thing to another because we yeah. have so much stuff. You have to see my stuff, yeah. right? I've got so many things. I've got the emergency diaper for my son. I've got the snacks, the tricks, you know, everything that you need to get through your day. Well, here <laughs> enters Perspection. Yes. It is a purse organizer. It has 11 different pockets 11. in which you can put and organize all of your things <coughs> very seamlessly and easily yeah. and move it then from one purse to another That's purse. That's what I love about without, it. Without, you know, forgetting but your cell phone at the say, bottom of your purse. I have been using this, and this one happens to come with a little light. It comes with a light. It comes with a light. So this is my bag, and I do not. The light is what's key. I tend towards disorder, but actually, I pull it right out. I put it in my diaper bag. I put it in my bag right here. I got it for Barbara for Christmas. Yeah. Right, Barbara? And it goes right in my bag. And it keeps us organized. So when I go to the tote, it's very This is mine with all my stuff, a two yes. pair of glasses and candy. But the only thing is, what does this cost? It's well, well, okay, so it's only $22 and yeah, that was your Christmas yeah. present. So I gave her this gorgeous <laughs> cashmere scarf. Yes, you did. She, uh -oh. 22 bucks, but I love it. It's for fun. It's for fun. I love it. Isn't it great? Oh, I, I love it. it. I, I love you. I love you, takes. I love you, 22 <laughs> talked about just check out our website and members of our audience are going home with gifts from some of these companies too we'll be right back thank you so much to say I don't I want to say I just want to say that even though you only gave me a $20 <laughs> present it's the thought that counts and I love you thank you it's, it keeps yeah. on giving there's a, what does it say anything in the movie that says I gave her my heart she gave me a pen it's yeah. sort of like that Barbara. okay have a great you. day everyone take a little time to enjoy the view <laughs> ABC's new hit drama is Off the Map, tomorrow at 10, 9 central on ABC. 